Hi everyone, welcome back to Toys TV. We're having lots of fun here with our cars at the Thunder Hollow Speedway and on our play sets here. What we're going to do today, somebody requested I make another rainbow car. Last week we made Rainbow the King. It came out really nice. And we have Rainbow Cruiser Mirrors. And we used to have Rainbow Lightning McQueen, but I turned it into something else. But somebody said, use Lightning McQueen as dressed up as Miss Critter to remake Rainbow Lightning McQueen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all the Play-Doh from this guy right now. And I'm going to have to put another coat of primer on it because it's all messed up with Miss Fritter colors. So let's see what happens if I can just take this car right now and take off the Play-Doh. I've never done this before except for one other one. Let's see if it works. I may have to use some tools for this job. It looks pretty tough. Take off the horns easy, but let's see. Oh, there it goes. There we go. It's all full of... Oh, look at this. He's already painted number 51 underneath that. So that's, all, that's about it, actually. The Play-Doh's all gone. There he is. So now I'm going to get the, plate up, the gray paint out and put a full coat of primer on everything, actually, wheels and tires. And then I'm going to paint the whole car rainbow colors again and make Rainbow Lightning McQueen. So let's get our primer paint out right now. The paper ready to go right here. Move the cars back. A brand new bottle of primer paint I picked up at the dollar store. Put that right there. It's a really nice brush. It's kind of a thick brush. So I'll do the wheels and the tires. Everything's going to be painted. I'll do the tires again in black when I'm done because they had Miss Fritter wheels, right? Those black and white wrenches in the wheels. And I'm going <laughs> to listen to the dog up there going crazy. Every time Tony the dog already barks. Okay, and do you guys have any animals? Let me know in the comments if you have a dog or anything or a cat or a cow. One person lived on a farm way out west somewhere in the United States. He's probably watching today actually. We're making these rain. We're making these requests for people from all over the world. First thing in the morning, people are watching from way over on the other side of the world. And then later on in the day, I'm gonna have to paint his eyes and everything, people. It just he has to be completely done over again. He's completely turned into Miss Fritter, and now he's going back to Rainbow Lightning. Maybe eventually I'll turn it back into Lightning McQueen. What do you think of that? Is that a good plan? I'm gonna do as I'm gonna try and do as much as I can holding him right here. But when I come back, when this dries, I'll put the rainbow colors on. I think it's only smart that I do the whole thing in primer first because um, it's just too much paint on it right now. I think I'll scrape his eyes too because there's too much build up there. I may have to scrape that off and maybe next time we'll do that. But the windows are even painted in the rainbow versions. Everything's painted. All different colors of the rainbow. Who can name the colors of the rainbow right now? You ready? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet and with those colors of the rainbow you can make any color in the world and that's how most of you guys learn colors from playing with crayons when you're kids or some of you have paint some of you use different things to grow up with different stuff look at that oh i did a good job with this guy he's done on the back and everything a little more just a little bit more and i think what i'll do eventually is turn rainbow back into regular there, look at that. Man, light, lightning is almost back to normal. That was a good idea, whoever suggested that. Thanks very much for telling me to turn it back into regular lightning first, and then I'll go with Miss Fritter. I mean, um, Rainbow Lightning McQueen. We'll come back when that dries, guys, and we'll start putting the paint on. Hi, everyone, and the paint dried really good, but I want to show you something really interesting happened when the paint was drying. I decided to scrape some of the paint off the windshield, and look what happened. His eyes came back. They weren't damaged at all. They're just hidden under the paint. So I'm going to try and paint around them and leave the white exposed. I'll patch up the white here. And hopefully I can get this look like Rainbow Lightning McQueen with all the colors. And I'm also going to do his tires in black too. So what I did about a brand new red today. All the paints are already here. Look, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. The same colors as the rainbow. I got a brand new red paint. It's similar to that. I can't wait to try it. I'm hoping to use it when I restore lightning to his original beautiful red color. Now I marked on the car some close marks of where I want to have the um, the lines end. So this isn't, a, I don't think it's the right color either. So I'm going to have to, I like the other color red on, on the King. But the one on the um, Cruiser Mirrors isn't as nice as this one here. So I'm going to be very careful with this red. I kind of like it. It's not bad. It goes on nice. I got it. I didn't get this at the dollar store. I went to the actual craft store and I bought some what I thought was some really good red paint that would do a good job here for Rainbow Lightning McQueen. Now we've had Rainbow before. If anyone here remembers the original Rainbow Lightning McQueen, send me a comment because that was a long time ago. If you remember that, hit the like or say, I remember that, that was last year. It was probably around, 
actually it was around this time last year to be honest with you because we started doing this painting custom cars in September of last year and we stopped for a while and I started making custom cars of different types and now I'm repainting them. There's red, okay. Now I'll clean the brush and I have the orange all ready to go. I'm taking a little break between between cleaning the brush. You probably can tell there's an edit there, but that's okay. Orange and I'm gonna do a, probably a better job of the doors tonight. The other night when I did King I got all mixed up and I had look what I just did. I was just saying I was how organized I was, I put it right in the yellow. Okay, let's take that off. Okay, a little correction there. Sorry about that. Uh, obviously, I was talking and not paying attention. So I'll try and remember to put the orange brush in the orange paint. How's that sound? But that's usual. Make a mistake, fix it. The one thing about painting with these paints is you make a mistake, it's easy to hide and fix. Just wait for it to dry or wipe it off or cover it up with another color. Red, orange, and the yellow is going to be nice too. Now, since I fixed his eyes, if you're very careful on the eyes this time, I don't want to get paint in the eyes. I thought those eyes were gone forever, but I couldn't believe it. I just scraped it off a little bit and it came out perfect. There's red, orange. Okay, try and do the yellow now without getting too much. The, red, the yellow goes right up to here. Perfect. Nice. Now, here comes the hard part, everyone. I'm going to put the front of the car down. Maybe it'll hold the um, car a little more solid when I'm painting it. So I don't get it. Um, I have to go right up to the brim, right up like that there. And then over the top too, that's gonna be the hard part too. So I see some more of you guys are painting cars, I appreciate that. That's uh, probably, uh, probably a bunch of you guys now are painting the cars. It's, it's a lot of fun. Oh, oh, I did it again. You get the paint at the, the dollar store or somewhere where it's not very expensive and um, we spend a lot of time doing it. A few other guys are painting that notice. That's great. Now I'm gonna try and go up the door pillar. That's what that's called. The window pillar, door pillar, whatever. And now across the eyes, here goes. And I'll come back and touch up the other side later. I like having the eyes here, it's great. So happy to get them all cleaned off. There was actually a bit of Play-Doh on there and some paint, and that's why it came off so easily. A little bit of Play-Doh. And um, when I was putting when I turned it into Miss Fritter, I had a lot of Play-Doh on it, and it kind of worked out well. There's a yellow, just about done there. A little bit under there, perfect. There's red, orange, yellow. Next comes the green. Now, yesterday I got the green mixed up with the blue, so I'll be more careful today. I'm gonna do all the windows. So when I do lightning over again, I'm gonna paint the windows black, and it's gonna look pretty darn good. Um, be just normal again. If I, if I do it back, I might keep it as this rainbow guy for a long time. I'm looking at buying some new cars uh, somewhere at, at a flea market or a yard sale or something. I wouldn't mind having another box of cars so I can paint them and leave them as they are. It's fun to paint them, but it's just as much fun painting them over again. Because once the video is made, the car becomes just a prop and I can uh, redo the prop and make it something else. I've done that already with a whole bunch of cars back there. And this guy today suggested, like I said, take the one I made Miss Fritter out of, take all the Play-Doh off and turn it into a rainbow. Lightning McQueen, now look at this here. The, oh, the black marks I put on with the pen are actually leaching through. That's what's going on, those black marks I made, see them? Okay, so there's my green, green's done. That came nice. Next is this nice blue here. And that's gonna go right back to the wheel and down along the fender. You guys can really learn your colors when you're mixing colors like this here and trying to make uh, paint your custom cars. This is a kind of a nice craft for kids to do if they get bored on a, on a rainy day or something. They want to just have some fun with their old cars that are in storage somewhere. Take them out and paint them. And you probably, I'll bet you a lot of you guys here have more than one Pixar car. I bet you a lot of you guys have like 10 or 20. If you're watching this video, go to the comments and tell me how many cars you have. Because I'm betting some of you have maybe 50 or 60 cars. I know one guy, he said he had over a thousand because somebody he knew worked at Disney or Pixar or something and got him all the play sets and all the toys that went with it. And um, if you have that many, tell me how many you have in the, in the comment section. Just go say, I have three cars, two Lightning McQueens or whatever you have. But I'm sure there's some that don't have any. This video is played around the world. So if you have more than one or two, you're doing pretty good. A lot of people have none. Okay, now we're into the pink. And when we started making videos, we weren't in the business of collecting Pixar cars. We were just doing it having fun. 
My son liked making videos with the, the cars and the trains and a lot of other play sets. We got videos here from Dora the Explorer, the Teletubbies, um, what else? Thomas and Friends, lots of them. Probably 500 videos of Thomas. And My Little Pony, I think I said that one. Another, well, there's a few more too, actually. I forget what they are, there are so many. Oh, the Cookie Monster is the most famous. Of all the videos I've made, Cookie Monster is the most popular. Okay, that's for sure. No question about that. I think I mentioned that before. And we did a lot of unboxing videos, surprise eggs. Okay, well now we're down to the last, wait, no, not yet. We're almost finished here. Surprise egg videos, probably got 100 surprise egg videos up there. I bet you, you guys, if you're watching this video, you probably saw some of our surprise egg videos too. If you did, say hi or leave a link or leave a like. Okay, last color and then we can do the tires. Here we're getting to the violet. The last color, just beautiful. I'm gonna try and leave the back undone. What do you think? Just do the gray here because the back doesn't matter. You're not gonna see the back. I might do tail lights on that later when I fix the light and clean back up again. I'll be painting them bright red and just go with this here. And I hope you're enjoying this video wherever you're watching it. It's on Saturday probably if you're watching it as a premiere. If you're watching it any other time, it's just a video you're watching. It could be any time. So thanks for watching it. I appreciate it. Now turn it around. And the front's dry already. Except for the yellow. I've got it on my finger just now. Okay, and it's going to go along here. And you know what? I might do the back just to say I did it. Because I don't want someone to say, why didn't you do the back? So I'm going to do the back. Violet, just like the rest of them. There. And there, I'm gonna do some touch-ups right now, guys, because some of the colors leach through. First, the orange kind of leached through right here on the hoods here. The black line, I won't do that anymore because it showed up right through it. And the green up top here, the green shows through. And the yellow, I got some green on the yellow right here, look. Also, I can see Lightning McQueen's red over his eyes right here, so I'm gonna cover that up. Perfect. Now, what I'm gonna do his tires all black. After this dries for a few minutes, I'm gonna come back and do all the tires nice and black. Okay, we're back. Looks like the paint's almost dry, so I'm gonna try and pick it up right here. I'm gonna do the back wheel. I mean the front wheel, and I do it the same way as I always do. I'm gonna hold the tire and spin the wheel. Ready? Here goes. I'm scared to touch the car. It might still be a bit wet, so I gotta be very careful here. Hmm, this brush couldn't have been clean when I put it down. It seems a little bit, a little bit too much bristles. Okay, there's one. I'm gonna clean the brush. Okay, we'll do the back wheel now, see if this is any better. I hope so. Here goes. Much better, yeah, look at that. Okay, there's the two back wheel, uh, two side wheels of the car. Now turn it around to the other wheels. Okay, here goes. We'll do this front wheel first with beautiful black paint. I'm gonna touch up the orange again too on the hood there. Seems to be getting more black ink is coming through. That was a mistake. So this is looking good. Beautiful. Now the last wheel, the back wheel. Lots of ink on that. Lots of ink. Lots of paint on that. Sorry. Okay. Then we're gonna take some pictures of this here next to the other two cars. Stick around to watch the ending now. Don't worry. There. Beautiful. Let me turn it around and I'll fix what I said I was gonna fix. The orange on the hood. Some black coming through. Right here. I'll fix that up so I won't come back again. I'll never do that again. That was a mistake. Okay. Lots of orange paint. And some yellow on the top again. That's the only two problems I've had right here. Beautiful. Okay, let's clean this up, guys, and take some pictures of Rainbow Lightning McQueen. I almost forgot the smile on Lightning McQueen. I got some white paint right here. I'm gonna fill this slot in completely because he had a big smile on this car. Beautiful, look at that. Big white smile. There! That's it, guys. First, we had Miss Fritter disguise, I mean, Lightning McQueen disguised as Miss Fritter, took all the Play Doh off, repainted it as a primer, 
and painted it now as Rainbow Lightning McQueen. And he joined Rainbow Cruiser Mares and Rainbow the King. Thanks for suggesting that. I really appreciate it. And if you have any more ideas, send them in. Because I got another video coming pretty soon. This is another Thunder Hollow Speedway Mayhem featuring Bubba and a few more mean cars. Thanks for watching everybody and have a great day.